And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperature got up to 90 degrees even in Green Bay and several other locations like Oconto. Fond du Lac got 90 as well. A real warm, toasty day. One benefit is that the humidity wasn't too bad out there, but we add another day to the 90s stretch so far this June. The record of June 90s back in 1988. 14 days, two weeks even. And every single day has seen above average temperatures, some in the 90s, some in the upper 70s. But as we head into the next several days, especially early next week, we are tracking some cooler conditions, perhaps not even breaking that 70 degree mark. And we'll show that in the seven day coming up. But as for right now, uh, let's go full screen. Actually, Jim, we do have uh, pretty quiet conditions across the area. You can see lots of clear skies, uh, really hardly anything going on. Zooming farther out, we do have a little disturbance up towards the north, and that is a weak area of low pressure that's moving down to the south. And this could spark off a few isolated showers and thunderstorms as they do head into the later evening hours and the overnight, but it doesn't look like it's going to be widespread. Skycast is showing as we get into later tonight, increasing clouds. This is about 11 o'clock in the evening hours. And then as we're heading into bed, pretty quiet, but you're seeing, especially as we get towards later before daybreak tomorrow, a couple isolated showers and perhaps a rumble of thunder. This will continue to push through into the morning hours tomorrow along that warm front boundary. And then by the afternoon, Turning partly cloudy, the more coverage of the showers and storms really starting to fall apart. We'll turn mostly sunny by the afternoon. Sure, could we see a stray shower? Absolutely. But in terms of more of that steadier rains, that's out of here by the mid-morning hours. Now, as you turn the page and focus more towards Father's Day, which is Sunday, well, we have another disturbance that it's going to move in here. Cloud cover starting to increase on Sunday. Right now, it looks like more so the first half of the day will be rather quiet, but then as you get into the afternoon, some isolated showers and some rumbles of thunder will be possible from the afternoon through the evening hours and into the early overnight. But by Monday, most of this activity will be moving out here once again, but we'll take the rain. We need it. Normally up to today, we should be seeing just under 2.4 inches of rainfall. We're not even seeing a half inch of rain, and we did pick up about two tenths of an inch of rain in Green Bay yesterday from the showers and storms. In some areas, did see higher totals near an inch uh, farther away from the Fox Valley. Temperatures right now, mid and upper 80s, near 90 still. Right now, 90 degrees in Fond du Lac. We've got 83 in Pembine. Winds are breezy this afternoon and heading into the evening, but we'll start to subside right now out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour, drawing in some of that drier air from Canada. And those dew points really say, it. We don't really see a lot of these dew points this time of the year. Normally we start to see those 60, 70 degree dew points, a lot more humid out there. 61 light winds turning in out of the northeast at about five miles per hour. Tomorrow we'll get up to high near 80 degrees, isolated shower or thunderstorm in the morning and then turning pretty quiet in the afternoon. Northeast winds five to 10 miles per hour. 77 on Sunday and then might not even break 70 degrees on Monday and Tuesday. We do rebound a little bit with some isolated chance of showers Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with highs getting close to 80. John. The cool down compared to 90. Gino, thanks so much.